Hi guys, I'm Putsi and for today's video I'm going to show you what's on my very old iPhone 6s Plus with the iOS 14. I know there are a lot of videos here on YouTube about iOS 14, especially with newer phones, which is why I want to make this video. Maybe it will be helpful if any of you have older phones and wondering if the iOS 14 will work for your phone. I also want to link some videos down in the description box that I personally use as kind of my guide to update, upgrade, and just make my phone look more aesthetically pleasing especially one video from Julia K. Chris it's very informational explain everything step by step for you to update your phone and all of that so I've been using the iOS 14 for a couple of days now and in case of battery life it will drain the battery a little bit faster but I have this phone for like five years now and the battery in itself it's already quite bad. I need to charge them a couple of times throughout the day. Battery will last, let's say, six hours. With the update now, it lasts for about four and a half to five hours. It doesn't bother me all that much, and it's not a contributing factor that made me like, oh, I don't want to update it or like I don't regret it at all and the app's performance some of them is a tiny bit like a tad slower but most of them in general are not I would say if you use your phone continuously couple hours straight extensively like quite hardcore some applications will kind of freeze a little bit they work too hard or something most of the time it doesn't so it depends on the apps overall I've been quite pleasantly happy with the update I suggest you look up a lot of videos judging by why you're here you're probably trying to get some inspiration also Pinterest is a great place to find some inspiration just to see what other people are doing with their phone and then also choose a theme or aesthetic for your home screen a Harry Potter theme Stranger Things theme 50s 90s theme if you see my desk tour video you'll notice that I love black white gray and blush pink I kind of want to have like wintry gray pink kind of theme so in my home screen I have three main pages this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one so this is the first page I use widget smith it's like one of the main widget apps that a lot of people use I know there are a couple of other widget apps that are really good I just love the style of widget smith more so at the top I have a medium widget I have the date and the day I also have the overview of the current month and then I have two small widgets middle row I have one widget that I filled in with black and white pictures picture of New York skyline. New York is one of my favorite place in the world. This is like kind of also act as a mood board just to kind of manifest New York into my life. And then I change all the icons with all these pictures. You can change them through apps called shortcuts. It's actually fairly easy but it's just a little bit tedious that you need to actually change them one by one. One thing I love about changing all the icons, I don't have all those little numbers, you know, the notification numbers on my home page and it's so satisfying and it looks so much better so much cleaner less cluttered all the apps that I have on my first page here Instagram YouTube Spotify I have Netflix Disney Plus Pinterest Twitter WhatsApp and then I also have this small widget with stay positive in it because I hope to have a more positive out outlook on life so I think that's a good quote to have besides it's also pink and then at the very bottom as you can see I changed all the icons I have notions safari gmail and camera and every single one of them are in black white and then on the second page I have three small widgets at the top is a clock because I already have clock at the very top but it's very small and I just love to be able to see it like bigger like that at the right side this is like a moon face I just love the way it looks I love the moon and in the middle I have the medium widget that I filled in with a quote from Taylor Swift's song called daylight from lover album it's step into the daylight and let it go I just love how it symbolizes new beginning so kind of 
really need to stay positive at the bottom i have four apps which is clock fitbit app notes and gallery i also love how the gallery icon i've used a picture of painting which very fitting in my opinion on the right bottom it's actually just widget that comes with the iphone so hold the screen and then this wiggly thing pops up just hit the plus you have all these apps at the bottom if you have notion just click notion and i choose my to-do list from my notion page to-do list is like the main thing that i will probably look at throughout the day so just one click go straight to my to-do list page on my notion and then at the very last page it's quite random the color is a bit all over the place because i cannot change the color of this spotify widget it just randomly changes based on the song or the artist that you currently listen to right now i have taylor swift olivia's new music driver's license been listening to white queen from queen confetti album from little mix i also just listened to phineas and claudia's newest podcast last night at the bottom i have another notion widget which goes straight to my manifestation page it helps to remind me of the things i want so i can actually do something to achieve them i have a bunch of apps that i compiled into this folder i have one for money more like bank accounts online payment system and all of that the other one is for online store and then if you go to the first page swipe to the left or you swipe to the side a medium widget to my gallery the middle one is for i don't know this is so random i haven't properly set them up yet at the very bottom an overview of my screen time which is very high i know i also spend most of it on youtube and then you can also see how much you spend on each apps which is very helpful especially if you're trying to cut down your screen time to the very right can see your app library most of them are very basic in entertainment page i have disney plus itunes store apple music netflix spotify youtube and sound brenner sometimes i need that for when i play piano to count the tempo and then my social i have facetime instagram line messages phone tap talk tap talk is for i subscribe to one of the forum there which is why i have that and then i also have twitter and whatsapp google calendar is one of the apps that i'm currently obsessed with because of how detailed you can plan your life ahead <laughs> you can go by hours color code them you can also share your calendar with people if you work with a team wps office to open document file i also have an app for my smart home appliances on my creativity app which is much more exciting i just downloaded this one second app which i'm kind of late on that because it's already in the middle of january so i don't know if i want to use this app or not canva which i haven't used actually clay is also a pretty good app for editing your insta stories lightroom which is my favorite app to edit pictures i know you can have a lot more out of the app if you have the paid version but i personally use the free version you can buy a presets you can make your own presets you can have your instagram pictures look very cohesive planoly is an app to plan your instagram feed i have unfold also to edit mainly instagram stories unum i don't know how to pronounce this app but it's kind of like planoly basically i used to use facetune to kind of whiten the background and all of that but i just delete them i don't know why but mainly i use photoshop on my laptop and lightroom on my phone to edit pictures youtube studio you can see your channel's analytics review comments there you can reply a very good app for content creator i have my fitbit app that i use to track my sleep my exercise water intake and also my period you can track basically almost everything regarding your health if you have fitbit and i do have uh, the first version fitbit versa i believe this dressed app is like a fashion game if you love fashion game you might want to check it out and then in the games app i have eight ball pool it's like billiard game among us best fiends i honestly forgot how this game works but i just remember i used to love this game a lot so i just have them here bubble game shoot bubbles <laughs> izumas also shoot 
Bubbles, Mario Kart, Nonogram. This is kind of like Sudoku but with pictures. I have Sudoku game, Solitaire, Redecker, very fun game if you love interior design, you love to decorate space, and then on it and Disney Sum Sum. In education, I have Duolingo app. This is very helpful if you are trying to learn new languages. So those are the things that I have on my phone. I know it's not very interesting because most of the apps that I have on my phone is quite basic, but I just want to make this video mainly because one, I love watching these type of videos and two, maybe some of you have older iPhones and wondering how the update, the iOS 14 works with our phones. If you have any suggestion for what type of contents you want to see from me next, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Also comment down below what apps you are currently loving right now, I would love to know. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it will help my channel a lot thank you so much for watching and i hope i can see you in my next video bye guys